Hey everyone, welcome back to Sounds Like a Drum, Cadence Independent Media Production. Today we have an extra special announcement. We are very excited to welcome AKG as our latest production partner. For those of you who have been watching the series for a while now, you probably know that our primary microphone here, kind of an overhead slash over the shoulder microphone, has been an AKG C414B that we've had on loan to us for a while. We've used a variety of other microphones around the kit. We've tried some different things out. We've gotten to experiment with some different microphones from AKG. And today we are absolutely elated to welcome AKG officially as a production partner for Sounds Like a Drum. As a little bit of an overview, just to give you some background here, production partners, not the same as sponsorship. It's also not the same as an endorsement. We have a very specific system that we've set up for working with brands, and we have a variety of production partners that we've worked with in the past as well. Today, we are switching out everything. You've actually probably seen in our recent episodes, we've had some AKG mics around the rest of the kit as well, and we are going to run down what the setup is today. So if you're into the recording side of things or you want to understand how we're capturing our sound, today we're going to cover all of that for you. Because sound is absolutely paramount to this series and we've worked for the greatest degree of transparency in sound, the microphones are incredibly important to us. And it made absolute sense to move forward with using AKG because we've been using them since day one and we wanted to be able to get a full setup here and increase the quality of our production overall. It's something that I've aimed to do for this series ongoing, you know, the addition of new cameras, the addition of extra setups, the whole deal. And so one of the biggest changes you're going to notice throughout the course of the series is we're moving over to a stereo mix. In the past, we had just one AKG C414. And so that was kind of limiting in terms of what we could do with a stereo image. So what we're using now is a pair of the C414 XLS large diaphragm multi-pattern condenser microphones. We've got one overhead and one over the floor tom set up in the Glenn Johns microphone configuration. This is something that we've demonstrated in the past in a previous video linked up here. And it's something that we felt was the best fit for our setup here in order to create a stereo image and also capture the drums in the most realistic format. Both microphones are set in the cardioid setting and are picking up an excellent in-phase image of the entire kit. Of course, because we love experimenting here, we're also going to experiment with different microphone configurations over the course of the next season. So keep an eye on the description. We will always have information about which microphones are in use and how they're placed there. Moving on to an old faithful, we have had the D112 by AKG on the bass drum for as long as we've been miking up the bass drum. And in fact, this is a microphone that I've owned for 14, maybe 15 years now. And I absolutely love how it sounds. Place it inside the drum, outside the drum. Most often we've got it right at the port, if there is a port in the rezzo head, or just off center on an unported head. This allows us to capture a fuller bass drum tone that you might not necessarily be able to get just from the two overhead mics, though I will mention that the mic over the shoulder here does a really nice job of picking up the bass drum and the floor tom, something that might not always be captured in its greatest integrity from just a single overhead microphone. Now, one of the greatest changes for us was switching over to 
new mics for the snare and all the toms. Right now we're experimenting with the C518M microphones. These are small condenser mics that clip really easily onto the hoop of the drums. They are incredibly lightweight. I was a little concerned in the beginning about how mounting a microphone directly onto the drum might affect the sound of the drum. All of those fears went away immediately as soon as we recorded them, got to experiment with them and see how they performed. These mics sound fantastic. The clarity on the toms is gorgeous. The frequency range on the snare drum is just mind boggling. And so the subtlety and nuance that we're often talking about in our videos is captured so eloquently with these microphones. And especially since we're aiming for the greatest degree of acoustic transparency, nothing's being compressed, nothing's being EQ'd. We really want to make sure that we're using a system that captures everything in the greatest degree of integrity. Now we've also got a set of the AKG C314s, the more budget friendly version of the 414. And those are set up currently just in front of the drums, creating a stereo kind of room sound, not quite room sound, it's not really at a distance, but it's capturing the drums off axis. And we'll be using this in certain circumstances within the episodes, as well as in some additional footage that you'll see over on our Patreon, where we'll get into more things with different perspectives of the drums themselves, whether it's the close mics, the overhead setup, or the room setup and different combinations of all of those. We'll also experiment with the placement of these as we do more to treat the space here acoustically. We'll be experimenting more with room microphones and of course detailing all of that in the description so that you know if things are changing, what you're actually hearing. I wanna extend an extra special thanks to Morgan over at AKG for helping make all of this possible and just being a fantastic individual to work with. Um, you know, a huge part of this is the relationships that we have with the brands that we work with. And it's not just about the gear. We wanna make sure that there's actually an investment in the direction that we are going in. And from day one, we felt like AKG really understood what we were trying to do. And it's one of the reasons why we used their products since day one. So there's not a huge change there in terms of what we're aiming for here. In fact, if anything, we're just furthering ourselves down that path and bringing AKG along for the ride. So thank you so much to AKG for making this possible, for setting us up with these microphones. And uh, we look forward to sharing a lot more on the recording side of things with you in the coming year. Okay, that's gonna do it for today's announcement. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Please do like, leave a comment, let us know if you have experience with AKG microphones, what you've used in the past, maybe what you're interested in checking out. And do check out the links in the description that give you all the information about the individual microphones we're using around the kit. If you're not already subscribed, please do click that red button and subscribe, and be sure to hit the notification bell next to it so that you receive notifications anytime we release brand new videos. Thanks again for tuning in. We really do appreciate it.